So in the previous video, we came to the conclusion of these, the alpha squared plus beta squared and the alpha cubed plus beta cubed. So we've now got expressions for these in terms of alpha plus beta and alpha beta. So now, if I have alpha plus beta is 3 and alpha beta is 8, so if I'm told that for a particular problem, and I need to find these two expressions, I should now have all the tools that will allow me to do this. So, adding fractions together, cross multiplication, so we're going to get alpha times alpha, so I get alpha squared plus beta squared over alpha times beta. Now, alpha squared plus beta squared is this. This is alpha plus beta squared minus 2 alpha beta, and that's all over alpha beta. So, alpha plus beta is 3, so that's 3 squared, take away 2 lots of alpha beta, all over alpha beta. So I've got 9, take away 16, divide that by 8, so minus 7 eighths. Write that in red. If then I want this, I've got alpha squared, cross multiplication again, so alpha, uh, sorry, I don't want that, I want to show an example with cubed. So change that into an alpha squared. So I'm going to have alpha cubed plus beta cubed all over alpha squared, beta squared. So alpha cubed plus beta cubed is alpha plus beta, all cubed, take away 3 alpha beta, alpha plus beta. And divide that by alpha beta squared. So I've got alpha plus beta cubed, so that's 3 cubed, take away 3 lots of alpha beta, times alpha plus beta, and divide that by alpha beta squared. So we've got 3 cubed, uh, take away 3 times 8 times 3, divide that by 64, and I get minus, write that in red I think, be consistent, minus 45 over 64. Okay, and that's how we can use these expressions.